endless is a very good thing to come back to your music and your tour. You just endless, you, yes. You, <laughs> you played more than 60 concerts in the cup last month on 26 festivals in yeah. 27 countries in three continents. Yep. It you know, sounds like no rest for the wicked, as we say in, in the UK, you know. So, I mean, we've always been like that. We've always been a very, uh, um, we've always toured like crazy. So it's kind of where, how we've, you know, established, I think, a very loyal fan base, you know, through the actual act of taking the music you know, to the people themselves. It's always been something that we've done for 15 years, and so I guess, you know, that that's... It, it's a very old-school approach, you know? It's very sort of... Very bands in the 60s and 70s did it kind of this way, um, before the birth of the Internet. And we, I think we just kind of continue to do it that way. Yeah. Is there a highlight that you can remember this summer? Um, no, I get asked that question a lot, you I know, know, but, it's, it's you know, not easy, but it's... Um, Maybe even some private things, you know, during tour. Yeah, like tour, I'm going to share some private things No, 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 <laughs> I know, I know, I won't ask. Who what is worth? Who what is worth? Who what is worth? Who what is worth? I guess you won't remember Summer Sonic this year. That was be, I was shocked when I heard that you, you find it on stage. Yeah, well, I don't remember that, but I remember the rest, you know, <laughs> in a thing, yeah, you know. Thank you for that. It happens, it happens to the rest of us, you know, so, I mean, recent of, of late, I, I believe Morrissey has collapsed, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, so, I'm in good company. Yeah. Yes, that's it's, true. It's a bad year for, for singers. Yes, you know, where yes. It, might, it must be, I don't know, the, the planets must be arranged in some sort of strange way, you know, yeah, and sort so of has, sensible, has yeah. an effect on sort of most singers' biorhythms or something like that, and that's causing us for, causing our blood pressure to drop or something like mm. that, you know. It must be that. It must be. Are you afraid of the flu? What flu? Swine flu? No, no. Ridiculous. Well, you know, I think it's it's um, well, it's just my own opinion, but you know, I think it's hysteria that's generated by the uh, pharmaceutical companies in order to try and sell all of the Tamiflu that they made for the last piece of hysteria, which was the bird flu, and they didn't manage to sell all that all that anti-flu drugs, so they're gonna. They're gonna mm -hmm. they're gonna run out the, you know soon you know they're 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 gonna be past their sell by date you know they use by date so they have to create like a new piece of hysteria um, in order to uh, sell all their their drugs before they before they get too old to be consumed by humans and so therefore they won't be able to make any money so that's what I'm basically saying it's all about money you know I mean really if you think about how many people per year that die of normal flu. I think, you know, if you look up that statistic, and somebody invariably will, mm -hmm. um, I think you'll find that there's probably, that there's more people who die of normal flu every year than there has been, you know, of swine flu so far. So, uh, you know, I'm very uh, wary of these kinds of media scares, yes, yes, you know, yes. which, uh, you know, because, but, but because a lot of people are, you know, in, a lot of people who run big companies are in bed with a lot of people who mm -hmm. run big newspapers and run countries. Are you actually at the moment in Germany, uh, you know, like 20 years ago, the Berlin Wall came down. Can you actually remember that? Yeah. Did shit. you watch it on TV? Or yes, right. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember it very well. And uh, because I was in I was in Luxembourg at the time mm -hmm. when it happened, so I was uh, just finishing um, secondary school, mm -hmm. um, and I was just getting ready to move to London. So, um, and uh, some friends of mine actually went and uh, chipped some pieces of the uh, of the Berlin Wall and sort of came back and uh, gave me a piece. And I've, since I didn't know where. It disappeared too after I went to university, but I used to have a piece of, of the Berlin Wall with some, it had some silver kind of graffiti on it. Right. Yeah, yeah.